is an invisible marker with a point of view and it's used to change a camera's position. So we're going to go over to Alice and you can see that I'm in the view to add objects and I've added a pharaoh, a cow, and a lion. To use dummies we have to click the more controls button. The first thing that I want to do is zoom in on the pharaoh. I can do this using the camera controls located at the bottom of the world window. This takes some practice, but you'll get used to it after a while. I've zoomed in on the pharaoh, and now to hold that camera position, I'll click the drop dummy at camera button. When you click this button, over in the object tree, you will notice you have a brand new object, a folder called dummy objects. If you click on the plus sign, Alice has added a new dummy object called dummy, which is my invisible marker. Dummy is not very descriptive, so we want to right click and rename this to something more descriptive. Since we're in the object tree, these have to be nouns, so this will be Pharaoh Close Up Shot using Camel Case for readability. Now I'm going to zoom back out. And if you see this little mark here, that will not be visible when you're Alice World Play, so don't let that alarm you. The next thing that I'm going to do is zoom in on the cow using the camera controls. Number two, drop a dummy at the camera. Number three, rename this to something more descriptive. I'll call this cow close up shot. And then I'm going to back back out. Okay, so I've dropped a dummy at the pharaoh and at the cow. Last one is the lion. We'll zoom in on the lion. When I'm satisfied with the camera controls, I will drop the dummy at the camera, come over to the object tree, and rename this to something more descriptive. Lion close up shot. Okay, last thing we're going to do, I would like to be able to capture all of my objects in one shot. So here I'm going to drop a dummy at the camera and I'm going to call this wide angle shot. Okay, so now we've got four additional objects in the object tree and these are invisible markers that will tell me what my camera position is. I'm going to click on done and then I'm going to walk you through the most critical part of using dummies. In order to use these dummy objects, it's imperative that you select the camera in the object tree. And we will be using the camera's set point of view method. Now you'll notice every single object has a set point of view method. The cow, the lion, they all do. So make sure that you are on the camera. And we will be using the camera's set point of view. So I'm going to scroll over here and it's asking as seen by, do not hardwire anything here. You want to use your dummy objects. So first I'll zoom in on the pharaoh and then using the set point of view, I'll go to my dummy objects. I'll zoom in on the cow and then lastly I will zoom in on the lion and then I'll get everyone included for the last part. Click on play and you'll see how the camera will move. Boom, boom, boom.